you deploy a firewall to make your network safe. What if your firewall get hacked? It is getting attacked. What you are going to do? And it has just recently happened with one of the leading firewall provider, which is Palo Alto Networks, and they found a zero day vulnerability CVE 2024-3400. So it was uh, on the some specific PanOS versions. So PanOS is basically a operating system of the firewall, which controls that how your firewall is going to work. So it was like a command injection vulnerability. It means that it gives a permission to execute any command inside the firewall. And that was basically in the global product feature so if your firewall has a global product feature enabled it means that uh, the cv is impacting that firewall and you can see that the severity is critical urgency is highest so and attack vector is network so it's like you can you have to go for the fix and if you have uh, this vulnerability and you have this uh, uh, available on your firewall you are using global product you have to go for the fix otherwise you are giving a chance to the attacker to execute any of the command in your firewall if we talk about little more about this vulnerability so this vulnerability is basically given an access to unauthenticated attacker to execute any arbitrary code like they can execute any code either <laughs> they want to create a policy to allow everything whatever they want they can do using that command and that's make it dangerous because it is giving on the root privileges so once you have the root privileges you can do anything on the firewall there are certain versions only uh, which are impacted with this vulnerability so the affected list you can see it here and which are not affected, you can mark that list here. So just make sure that your firewall doesn't fall in the category of the affected ones. If you observe that your firewall is falling under the affected category, then you should action it immediately in order to go for the fix. So there are some like, uh, uh, you can see the required configuration for the exposure. You can see that this issue is applicable only to PanOS 10.2. PanOS 11.0 and PanOS 11.1 firewalls configured with Global Protect Gateway or Global Protect Portal or both. So device telemetry does not need to be enabled for PanOS firewalls to be exposed to attacks related to this vulnerability. So if you are like uh, want to be safe, just make sure that uh, device telemetry is not enabled. So if it is enabled, you can go and just disable it instantly in order to mark yourself safe. You can verify whether you have Global Protect Gateway or Global Protect Portal configured by checking for entries in your firewall, web interfaces, network Global Protect Gateways, or network Global Protect Portal. So just make sure that uh, are they configured or not. So the criticality score is very high. So you have to take an instant action, otherwise you will be hacked or you're in the very high risk. So I think we have like thousands of enterprises or basically thousands of the firewalls getting impacted because of it, this and uh, I was also where I'm working uh, my my firewall was also part of that one we observed that attacks are happening but unfortunately uh, the attackers did not get successful to execute that command but yes they executed that command but yeah we were like <laughs> lucky enough or we can say the Palo Alto was quite safe that that command does not succeeded so we marked ourselves safe that uh, so in order to investigate your firewalls that if you are fall in that versions because you know you don't know that whether you are uh, attacked or not or just uh, vulnerability has affected or compromised or not so you can just uh, raise a case with palo alto and just get your device checked using your tech support file that's tsf and they will just make sure that uh, that you were compromised or it was just in some iocs were observed for that one so there are some work down around and mitigations as well so you can go for the fix as well there are some certain fixes available for that one uh, just talk about the work down first so recommended uh, mitigations are customer with a target threat prevention subscription can block attacks for this ability using thread id this one so if you block these thread ids you can be marked as safe 
please monitor this advisory new threat prevention so just keep on monitoring this one uh, using our live community like so they will be uh, publishing the news according that one if you have to take some further actions you can go for that as well so the fixes are available on these releases so you see that the we the really uh, like zero day we observed on the 12th of april and uh, the fixes are available after that one so like a few days were like just uh, without a fix like the it came on the zero day we found on the 12th of april and uh, on 14th of april the fix was uh, provided so uh, you can say two days was little challenging for everybody but anyways uh, uh, it has it happens sometimes sometimes we are unlucky and uh, <laughs> it happens anyway so now if you are today because today is like uh, fix is available so you can go for the fix now respective versions like on where, uh, whatever versions you are you can go for the related fix basically they have provided the hotfix hotfix are likes to fix that specific issues what we found on the firewalls all right guys so now we can mark ourselves safe because we are in the situation that we have got the fix so just go get fixed keep yourself safe from the unexpected attempts and attack so see you soon in the next video with the some latest updates till that bye bye